Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I have a push mower here. Um, if you watch the videos, the guy who bought the T2200 traded me, this is not a trade, I'm looking at for, for a repair, but he traded me the mower he bought back back in the spring. He, up, he just simply upgraded. I've had to do a couple things to it, like uh, trans pulley, um, had to realign the deck, and a couple other things. Um, deck spindle while he's had it, but it's been a, it's been a good mower. It's going to a new home, but um, trying to look out for him. He said that uh, he's used this a couple of times, and he says the belt keeps breaking on it. He he took it back to Lowe's. Lowe's, uh, I guess, did some warranty work to it, and the same thing happened again. Um, I've already taken a peek at it. I've kind of see what the issue is, and uh, I'm gonna have to see how. To go about solving it because I'm not sure if it's missing a part or if it is not I want to say if it's missing a part or um, it's just a horrible design by Husqvarna and hopefully it's not the latter so let me show you what's going on I'm gonna give, get you on the tripod here like I said I've already tilted it over you can see the grass kind of in the garage a little bit further back there but let me show you the model number of the push mower and all that it's got the Honda GCV 160 on it uh, made 529 of 2018 my model number is LC 221RH so probably uh, 221 RH probably rear wheel drive self propel push mower could use a blade blades pretty much done um, it's in pretty rough shape honestly I think it's missing something here um, I believe there's supposed to be like a little cover or something that goes under this because what's happened I don't think the belt's bad I think what happened is I don't think the belt broke. I think it just fell off the pulley in the back because there's so much grass shoved up into this thing that it doesn't, it's not working right. So what I've got to do, I have to take this uh, rear cover off, which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult, but I've got to take the blade and whatnot off as well. Um, all my tools are charging. Hopefully they are charged so I can do this with an impact. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the belt. Rarely, if ever, do these things break unless one of these pulleys locks up. Because there's never, like, if you have a riding mower and you throw the blades on, there's a lot of force coming from a, anywhere from a 15 to a 25 horsepower motor. And if it's got resistance like a frozen pulley or something, it'll break that belt right off. But a push mower ain't got anywhere near that power. A lot of times you'll just see the belt slip off, which is what I think has happened in this case. So let me go ahead and get the uh, get my impact tools. We'll go ahead and take off the um, everything that I need to to get to the pulley back here on the back of the mower. Which, like I said, hopefully all i got to do is take this plastic piece off right here to get to it. So, let me grab the tools, we'll get started. Alrighty, let's check out our situation here. Um, I got a bunch of 3 8 and such to take this plastic cover off. We'll uh, kind of go through it together. So it's that one right there on the back. I got this one. like a shoulder bolt. I think my head's right in the way. Sorry about that. So that's that. It's clipped in. Another bolt here. That's that. So that loosens up that cover. And yeah. So Let me sit this 
So that gets my cover off there. Hopefully that gives me access to the belt as well. So I'll just do that and get it on. All right, how about that? So as you can see, ton of grass bunched up in that. So I'll take a picture of that so that the owner can see all that grass that was under the cover there. All the grass that fell out from under it. There we go. All right, so I we ain't got to do a lot of cleaning and stuff and looky here so there's no self-propel issue thankfully it's just the belt came off because of all of the junk that was in the mower has it twisted it around i don't think so i just think that and that's just that's a fixed pulley there so Let's see if I can get this belt back on for us. Gosh, that thing was on there tight for it to... Okay. I'll have a guide there in the back. I gotta get it through. Alright, so it's a guide. The guide on the back side of that pulley, I've got to get it through. I'll do that, see if I can do it. Sometimes turning the belt will get you through it. As long as the guide will flex enough, but I think I'll have to grab a screwdriver to get it. So, nearly all that's left, and I'm not going to let y'all see me struggle anymore. But the main deal is, look, this was nasty. And so it caused the deck belt to seize up and jump off the pulley. So now, I might have to take this bolt off right here and just slide out the keyway a little bit. See if I can kind of work this back into the pulley here on the back. Ugh. Uh, not quite so let me work on that we'll get that we'll get it back on we'll test it out make sure the self propel works and then we'll do with the next step see if we can go from there and see if it is i am in fact missing a piece um because if i remember correctly there's supposed to be like a little cover or something that goes right there over it so it doesn't get grass all up in there so let me work on that catch you in just a second all right, I got the belt back on. I just finally gave it some nice tension and stuff and ended up getting it back on. So I'm gonna put this pulley back on now. So what it's gonna do, slide it back on, pop it in the groove there. Make 
sure it's in the keyway, which it is. And that's it. Get the blade back on. And tighten it up. My impact's on the charger, so. Okay, so that's that for now. And get rid of all this grass. Just for perspective. That was all shoved up in there. So now let's come along. Let's do this real quick. Doing some uh, grilling tonight, too. How about that? Uh, let's see what we got. We should have working self repel now, though. That's good. We still obviously got to put it back together, but all that grass caked up caused the belt to slip off. If you've watched Mixed Mowers, he had a very similar one to this uh, a little while back where a push mower, the self-propel stopped working. The grass got so clogged up because it was missing a piece and uh, that it ended up throwing the belt. Exact same thing happened here. Um, let me just, let me see if I got to uh, pull up the manual for this and the parts diagram to see if it's actually physically missing a piece or if it's just a poor design by Husqvarna. I think it's the former and not the latter because I don't think Husqvarna would um, be that dumb. Anyways, let me do a little bit more research on this. We do know the problem. We have already fixed the problem. However, we need to fix the problem from recurring. So, let me figure out how to do that. I'll catch back up with you in just a second. Okay, so I got all the covers back on. I posted this on my Instagram page, and when I was fixing this, to ask is like, is this just a bad design? Or is this really the way, or is it really missing a cover? And somebody chimed in, and if you give me a second, I will tell you the name, but they said it was a bad design, which is crazy, because the way that it looks, it looks like it needs a, a, like a, a third cover down here. But obviously, that's not the case. So... What we're going to do is we're going to try and fabricate a uh, cover for this. Mr. B Man 2000, Ben H. He's, a, he's the one that tried to uh, offer me a parts V-twin V twin engine. Um, so I appreciate it, man. Uh, we're going to fabricate a, hopefully, some sort of cover out of this little top for the tote. 
which I'm gonna use the bottom half and I'm gonna fabricate something for a discharge chute for this because those discharge chutes to the 46 inch uh, mowers are just ridiculous. They're like 60 bucks and I can get this tote for like 10 and fabricate it for my own. So, I don't get to work. What I'm gonna try and do is there's a bolt right here and a bolt right here I'm going to try and bum off of those and make like a little mount that goes around there. And obviously it doesn't have to be perfect. But I have a mount that goes around and then something that comes back up a little bit to kind of cover at least. It doesn't need to be that big. It just needs to cover this area. So I'm just going to try and cover this area. Leave a little space for the belt. And hopefully that'll keep most of the grass from getting caught up in there. Because if once you squeeze the belt here, you see that this really doesn't move all that much. So I really only need a gap about that wide to accommodate the belt. About that wide. So... Let me go ahead and get to work, see what I can do here. Alrighty, y'all, what I've done is not much, but we're gonna test it out. Hey, you never know what might work. So I took that, I took an edge of that yellow piece of, of the top of this uh, weatherproof, whatever it is, plastic whatever, and uh, I made like a very rudimentary guard type thing, you see? So the original lip was right there, as you can see. And now this plastic piece is right like this. And, is, and it covers, not all of it, but it covers most of it up. There's maybe like an inch gap up there in the top. But instead of it dumping out there now, maybe it won't, you know, fall into, fall in there as easily. I don't know. That's kind of the best solution I can come up with. Obviously, I could fabricate a cover that would go over the entire thing, which is doable, but I'm trying to do this on the cheap for the guy. So, we'll see if that works. Let me put the blade on. I might go out and, I don't know, there's a little bit of thick grass over there. I might go out and cut a little bit of thick grass with it. See how bad it gets clogged up here in the back side of the self-propel. And then we'll continue on after that. Hopefully it's good enough to where I do not have to really worry about it. So it's like an, this is kind of like an, an invention process or whatever. You had your first trial and then the second trial. So my second trial is I put, I made it a little bit longer. So it basically butts right up to the, the deck here as opposed to having that much of a gap like I had before, like on the like on the first trial here, as you can see. So, uh, honestly, I might put that right there just to help reinforce it a little bit more, maybe with a screw or two, I don't know. It ain't gonna look pretty, but I think it's gonna be functional. I might reinforce it with that second piece of plastic right there and then I'll give it another test. Uh, sadly, there's still going to be some grass that gets up in there, but hopefully we're going to try and eliminate all of the grass that got in between this whole big gap here. So, just a poor design, but hey, why not, you know? So, we'll see what happens. Again, I, don't, I think it's missing a cover, but... Um, Apparently it's not. Apparently it's just a sucky design. Um, so let me fix this and I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay, y'all, I think we are done with this. Um, I cut some thick grass over there. Uh, just kind of rough cut stuff over there. And uh, probably for about mm, three or four minutes. And I'm trying not to make sure it banged down on me. Okay, there we go. So it obviously this is not going to be perfect at 100%. But 
but when I feel back here, I don't really feel a lot of grass getting caught up in there, which is good. Some, some will, some will, but just by the nature of the way this is. But it's kind of a shame that the design of this mower was so was what it is. Um, Y'all know a little bit better than I do, but I wouldn't think that somebody's knocked the cover off of this. But anyways, what I have done here seems to be holding up. We'll see how it holds up over the course of time. I mean, I'm pulling the mess out of it, and it's not going to go anywhere. So this, this whole extra mounting mess doesn't really make that much of a difference. But what does matter is what I've got here with the guard and whatnot over the uh kind of over the hole where the drive where the rear drive self propel goes seems to be all right it just needed something where the grass wasn't getting shoved up in there so i think that's going to work um again the self propel issue came in we thought it was a broken belt originally it just slipped off because of so much grass in that little pocket area here so we'll get this back to the customer hopefully he will be pleased with it. I'll tell you one thing. There we go. This has got the GCV 160 in it. And uh, the grass that I cut over there was cutting through it like butter. So, uh, nice little machine except for that horrible flaw. Um, again, I'm going to do some more research on it just to make sure that it's just not missing a cover. But... Either way, we've got this fixed. We spent all of like 20 cents and about 30 minutes. Maybe about an hour's work total. Getting the belt and everything back on it. Hopefully get it running reliable for the customer. I'll show them the fix that I did and hopefully it works for them. Um, as long as he doesn't abuse it too bad, then hopefully it will uh, last for him. So I hope... If this is a pretty big flaw in these mowers, I hope that uh, you enjoy the video. Hopefully you found this helpful, and I appreciate y'all watching as always. You can find me right here on YouTube at Ellis Mowers and at Ellis Mowers 09 on Instagram and Facebook. See you on the next video. All right, everybody, real quick, just to round this out, I wanted to make 100% sure. I have the parts diagram I'm going to show you here on the phone of the LC221RH, that's the model number. Hopefully y'all can see that well. This is the plastic cover, and this is the other plastic cover, and there are no more covers. So, uh, looks like we are, uh, looks like we're not missing anything on the mower, it just looks like a poor design. Husqvarna, all you have to do is put one more plastic cover on there to make everybody's lives a lot easier. Anyways, thanks again for watching. And there it is one more time. Hopefully this helps y'all out, and I'll catch you next time.